So we have the mass airflow sensor set up. It's powered up. It's uh, sucking air through the mass airflow sensor, sending a signal out of the um, out of the blue wire. And as the element has air passing across it, in order to heat the element back to its standard temperature, it draws uh, more electricity, and the voltage then is translated by that element to uh, an output. So this is what goes to the engine control unit. Now, what we can do is vary the amount of air, and watch what happens as I, as I pinch down, I'm gonna pinch down on the amount of air that flows, you'll probably hear the difference. Now I'm gonna pinch it way down. As I reduce the airflow, the voltage drops. As I let the airflow back up, voltage comes back up. So that's like your throttle, opening and closing, sending a signal to the engine control unit, the computer, if you will. So now I've throttled it way down. The voltage goes way down. And the engine control unit is getting a signal that says it has low volume. Then if we move it up, we we'll let it suck more air through goes up to its maximum voltage of almost 3.56 volts. So the system works. The little element in there stays at the same constant temperature. It does that. It uh, sends out, as it draws more current through the hot lead, it sends out a, a signal voltage back to the engine control unit. That's how the engine knows how much air is passing through the mass airflow sensor. We'll shut it down now. We'll shut it down now and the mass airflow sensor has reduced airflow through it. As the airflow goes down to zero, the voltage goes down to 0.03 volts, uh, letting the engine control unit know that it's powered up, but it um, uh, has no air flowing through it. So there you go, that's a test bed, that's a way to test a mass airflow sensor. You have to power it up with 12 volts. I've uh, sneaked the power out of the uh, front end of the 911 and uh, gotten it there, um, as well as uh, hooked the volt ohm meter to the leads, um, the signal lead to the positive of the volt ohm meter and uh, pigtailed the ground uh, so that I could use the ground from the car as well as um, the ground going back to the negative on the volt ohm meter. Hope that helps testing out your mass airflow sensor.